Hello, this is Dr. Grande. Welcome to my video on cut and paste keyboard shortcuts in Excel. So oftentimes in counseling research as we're working with data and analyzing it or preparing it to be analyzed, it's important to be able to complete tasks quickly and keyboard shortcuts assist with that. And you can see on the right here, I have some various shortcuts related to cutting and pasting. And on the left, I have fictitious data. You see I have several variables. One shortcut that's not on here, but that I use often is Control Z, which is undo. And I'll be using that to undo some of the uh, pasting that I'm doing in this demonstration. That's Control Z. So let's take a look at the first one, Control C. So this is fairly straightforward. Say I take uh, the first seven records here from final exam and control Z, control C and I move over to column J and I want to paste that that'll be control V so control C to copy and control V down here to paste it looks like that and I undo this of course I'll hit control Z I say that I want to cut and paste so I'll select this region and hit control X but I'll still go back to control V and you can see now that now the final exam that's cleared it's been cut and then pasted over here to column J again control Z will restore that back to the way it was so you notice when I use control V it took the values and the formatting and sometimes we don't want that so let's say I go over to GPA I'll take the first 10 records of GPA, control C to copy, and move over here to J and hit control alt V, which is paste special. And you can see the paste special dialog comes up. Let's say that I just want the values here. I'm not interested in any of the formatting that exists in this column. I click OK. And you can see instead of being centered, it's off to the right and there's no borders around it. That's a paste special, in this case with values. Now using the control C or control X in combination with the control V or control Alt V is efficient. You can also use drag and various keys. And this is just really a matter of personal preference. So let's look at drag and control. And you notice I have drag in an oval because it's not actually a key it's something you do with your pointer so let's just see what happens by default so if I take say uh, aptitude test right so I take the first 10 records there and I move to one of the borders so I get the four-way arrows and I just drag you can see it's drag and cut that's what it does by default. You'll drag it and it makes a cut. It just moves everything over. The equivalent of a cut and paste. Right. So Control Z will put that back. But you can also drag and copy instead of drag and cut. So with the same selection here, I'm going to hold down Control and I'm going to move the pointer so it's just, it's getting that little crosshairs there and I'm going to move over here as you can see it copied it copied the first 10 records instead of cutting and pasting now drag with shift will drag and insert so let's just say that the pretest and the aptitude test are measured on the same scale All right so it's the same unit of analysis we could take the first, let's say, 10 records from here, and we're going to hold down Shift, and then look for the four-way arrows on the edge. And you can see it has a horizontal line. And that is a break to where we can insert these values. So say we want to put them right here after 82. And you can see that's what it does. It just inserted those first 10 records 
into aptitude test. So if I scroll down, you can see the rest of the values for aptitude test are there. So that's shift and drag at the same time. What drag control shift will do is the same thing as drag shift, except it won't cut and insert. It'll copy and insert. So again, if I were to do the same thing, except this time I'm going to hold down control and shift. You see it's a small crosshair, it's very small on the edge. It's still going to give me that place where I can make a break in the column. So I'm going to select here after 76. And you can see it retained everything in pretest and inserted those values into aptitude test. And then the last one we have here is drag and alt. And what this will do is allow you to drag a selection to another worksheet. You see I have several worksheets down here at the bottom. So I'm going to take a part of, let's say, GPA, let's say uh, first 15 records. So I'll have to go down to row 16. And I want to drag this to another sheet. So I'm going to hold down Alt. You can see I can go to Selection, Data Entry, Formatting. I can pick one and let go. And you can see it takes all the data over. And it's important to note here, if we go back to the cut and paste worksheet, that it is gone. That was a drag to another worksheet, uh, but it's a cut. Cut and paste to another worksheet. But it can be undone with Control Z. And we return these data to the prior state. I hope you found this video on cut and paste keyboard shortcuts in Excel to be helpful. As always, if you have any questions or concerns, feel free to contact me and I'll be happy to assist you.